Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna talk about different places in Kurdistan which got their name changed due to Turkification, Arabization or Iranification. Before we start this video don't forget to hit the like button, comment your opinion down below and subscribe to the channel make sure you don't miss any further videos on this channel. Also don't forget to follow us on Instagram make sure that you don't miss our vlogs, updates and fact based posts about Kurds and Kurdistan. Now without further ado let's get into the video. So if you have watched my previous videos you know by now that the Kurdish people have faced a lot of persecution in history. One of the main ways of oppressing the Kurds have been to, in different ways, erase them from history, whether it's about denying their identity or exposing them to assimilation. Many Kurdish names of villages, cities and areas in Kurdistan have faced this. This video only contains a top 5 pick of city names changed into another name. Kurdistan have faced a lot of name changes and therefore we won't be able to cover all of them in this video. We will choose top 5 picks and let me know in the comment section below which one that you thought should be in the video or that you want to mention. It could be a city, a village or a mountain or a river that have been changed from its Kurdish original name to an Arabic, Iranian or Turkish name. So on the 5th place we got the region of Dersim. Now, Dersim is very, very symbolic for the Kurds. It was right here where the Dersim genocide took place back in the days where a lot of Kurds got massacred by the regime of Kemal Ataturk. Now, the Turkish regimes have changed this province of Dersim to Tunceli province. Officially, it is known as Tunceli, but Originally, the Kurdish name is Dersim. Now, I'm very happy to know that locally people still call it Dersim and that the Tunceli name only are used for formal causes. But it is still important to let people know that that official name is just a part of a Turkification in Turkey's attempt to Turkify Kurdistan. So, always use the real name of the region and the city, Dersim. Number four is the city of Ahmed. The Kurdish capital Ahmed is officially known as Diyarbakir. It is located in Turkish occupied Kurdistan and is in fact Kurdistan's largest city in the area. The city has always been called Ahmed both in ancient times and by the locals in modern time. The city's old castle is called Amida where the name of the city has originated from. However, the Diyarbakir names comes from settlers from the Bakr tribe and the city was renamed Diyarbakir which means land holdings of the Bakrs. In December 1937, the Turkish president Kemal Atatürk visited the city and ordered it to officially be called Diyarbakir, which also means land of copper in Turkish. This was done as part of Atatürk's Turkification process of non-Turkish name, in which Kurdish city names were changed into Turkish alternatives. At third place, we got Serekani, a Kurdish city located in Syrian-occupied Kurdistan, also known as Rojava. The city's original name was Washukani, which was the capital city of the Mitanni Empire. The modern Kurdish name Serekani means head of the spring. It was Hafez al-Assad, the father of the current dictator of Syria, Bashar al-Assad, who performed an Arabization of Rojava during the 70s. This Arabization included several city names being changed in Rojava. In this, the city of Serekani and its meaning was translated into Arabic, becoming Ras al-Ain, which also means head of the spring. When the city once again came under Kurdish control in 2013, its original name Serekani was once again widely used. In 2019, Turkey and FSA occupy the area and the city is now once again under heavy Arabization and Turkification. On the second place, we have the Kurdish city of Kirmashan, which also is known as the Kurdish capital of culture and history. During the reign of the Pahlavi, the last Shah renamed the city to Kirmanshah, introducing his title, 
the Shah into the name. After the 1979 Islamic Revolution in Iran, the new regime tried to change it once more, this time to Gahraman Shah. However, it didn't work out and the name was once again renamed to Kerman Shah. The original Kurdish name remains though among the majority of the Kurdish citizens living in the capital of Kurdish culture. And finally, at first place, we have Kobani. And in a minute, I will explain why it is on the first place. The Kurdish city of Kobani became especially highlighted in 2015 when it became the first place where ISIS actually lost a huge battle, a key turning point in the war against the Islamic State. Before Kurdish control in 2012, during the Hafez al-Assad regime, the city was under the same Arabization campaign as its close-by city Serekani. Kobani was then renamed Ain al-Arab, which means Spring of the Arabs. The reason that this hits my top one is since it so clearly gives a normalization of its Arabic name. The Arab Spring, even though the people of the city has a huge majority of Kurdish inhabitants, and historically is Kurdish. So I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, hit the like button and comment your opinion down below and I will see you next Sunday.